Hi everybody! It's Wednesday. It's time for my weekly stamping class. Let's get things rolling here. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day and a good week. Here we go. All right, while I'm live, I am right on time today. I'm actually off for a few days. Um, I went to work on Monday and was told that I wasn't needed. <laughs> so <laughs> I worked a couple hours on Monday and then I came home. And so now I'm just waiting for a call back as to when I'll be needed again, hopefully soon. Hi, Michelle. Happy Wednesday. Hi, Janet. Good to see you here. So what's going on? Um, oh, I wanted to show you guys. So yesterday was our anniversary. Um, we got married 19 years ago. That is absolutely crazy. But this is the card my mom sent us. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. So it's all stamping up except for that beautiful, um, it's like a pearlized embossed paper background and it's not stamping up. She bought it somewhere else. And I love it. Like, I never use non-stampin' up stuff, but I want some of that paper. It's so pretty. And um, just in love with this card, so I wanted to show it off to everybody. Hi, Chriselle. And then she always does beautiful things on the inside. So we got some hearts over there and lots of stamping. Um, but I just wanted to show off the card because it's so pretty. So... That reminds me, I have winners to announce from the last two weeks. I've been slacking, and I'm sorry. Um, but, okay, so, I think, I can't even remember. Was this two weeks ago, or was this last week? It feels like, I don't know, I, I don't know what day it is. What time is it? What day is it? I don't know. It's not Christmas yet. That's all I know. Um, but anyway, so this fun fold that I did um, oh, sorry, I'm mirrored. I get confused when my screen is mirrored. This fun fold here that I did, I think this was two weeks ago. Um, Karen A., you're the winner, so I'll be sending this out to you. And then this one that I did with the fun leaves and the buffalo check background and that lovely, lovely ribbon there. Um, Janet, you were the winner, so you'll be getting that in the mail. So oh, I'm all caught up on giveaways now. <laughs> it was really weighing on me because I knew I was behind. But it just seems like there's always something more pressing to do. And then it's like, I'll do it tomorrow. And then there's more pressing things to do. So anyway, and then if in case you missed it, um, Saturday was World Card Making Day. And I usually like... I think two the last two years I did not have a class because um, we were busy because, you know, our anniversary is around this time. And so it's hard to plan something because um, I always want to leave it open in case we want to do something together. And this year, you know, with COVID, I didn't plan anything anyway, but I just decided to go live and make a card. So if you missed it, it's still here on my page. Um, but this is the beautiful card that I made on Saturday. And um, again, I used the leaf set and I just used the one leaf and a bunch of different colors and it turned out really pretty. And it's just a nice, simple, fun fall card. So I just wanted to share that. Um, so yeah, tonight I have a really, really fun tip to show you. Um, something that I did years ago and whenever it gets to be fall. Um, I always get out my little trick. So thank you guys. I'm glad you like the cards. Um, so I'm excited to show you the card that we're going to make tonight. And I think I'm not going to show you. I think 
that I'll just make it and then you can see it at the end. Um, but I do, oh, there's something else I want to share. There's so much going on. Um, I have to tell you about the designer series paper sale. And I think I'll show you these when I flip the camera around because it might be a lot easier for you guys to see. But we have a lot of our DSP on sale right now. 15% um, off. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 different designs of our DSP that's on sale. And so all of the packs that are regular price $11.50, they're on sale for $9.78. And then we have one package that is regular price $21, and it's on sale for $17.85. So if you're interested in stocking up on the Designer Series paper, um, go for it. And there's quite a few holiday designs available. Um, I see that the, like the Forever Greenery, you can use that for fall, but there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven different Christmas designs, plus the Magic in This Night Designer Series paper is Halloween themed. So if you order it soon, you'll get it in time for Halloween, um, whether you make cards or scrapbook or just do other kinds of projects. Um, I've seen some really cute um, like treat bags or treat boxes made that you could use that Halloween paper for. So just wanted to throw that out there. Um, and then I have my Christmas stamp -a stack that this is something that I, in the past, like I used to do in the past. Um, and I specifically remember when we lived in the duplex in Appleton, um, I had stamp -a stacks like three times a year. And I would do a holiday one, I'd do a birthday one, and I would do, um, I think I did a birthday one and a, I can't remember the third one. But um, I always had a group of people at my house for this and I wanted to do it this year because the last couple of years for Christmas I've done the card buffet, which is also a lot of fun, but it's a lot of work. Um, the buffet is where I would make like a dozen cards and you'd get to pick which ones you make. So I'm doing a lot of prepping. And so I decided to go back to the stamp -a stack because it's real simple. And um, of course with COVID this year, I'm not going to be having people in my house, but I'm offering it by mail. And so what this is going to be is you're going to get the stamp set, a package of paper, and then you're going to get a half a pack of gems and five rolls of braided trim. And it's going to be $50. That's going to include the shipping. And it's also going to include the cardstock pack for you to make eight cards. And I've already been asked yesterday if, I, if there was going to be an option to do more than eight cards. And the answer to that is yes. Um, I can prep prep extra packages and I would probably charge like three dollars for each extra cardstock package. So if you wanted to do 16 cards, I would include the extra cardstock for you. Um, this is a great value um, because when you're done making those eight cards that I send the cardstock for, you're going to have lots of leftovers to make way more cards. And the designs that, I can't wait to show you the cards that I designed. They're beautiful and they're still very simple and quick and easy to replicate. So this is going to be awesome. You guys are going to love this class. And I'm going to encourage you to order it by, <clears throat> excuse me, the end of October because that gives me time to order and have everything delivered and for me to turn around and get it out to you quickly so that you can start making your cards so that you're not in a rush come Christmas. Um, so if this is something you're interested in, don't wait too long. And um, I have some of the paper here that I'm gonna show you tonight. It's so pretty. I've been using it. I'm gonna need to order another pack. And luckily it's on sale. 
So, okay, that's enough talky talky. I'm gonna turn the camera around and let's get the card started. So if you don't like, um, you know, it, this camera's gonna move around a lot. So if you get motion sickness like me, close your eyes or don't look and I will let you know when we're all set to go, okay? Hang on. And it's another day. I've got to fiddle around with the stand. There we go. Sometimes it gets really loose. And sometimes it's so tight that my arthritic hands can't seem to do anything right. All right, and I just want that a little bit lower. I'm still um, adjusting, you guys. It's starting to get dark out earlier, so now I, it's a lot darker. Like, remember a month ago at six o'clock, it was still really bright out and the sun was shining, and now it's just getting really dark again. So I've had to adjust my lighting the last couple of weeks. So, okay, here we are. Um, I'm just making some last minute adjustments. And there's always a delay with Facebook Live. So like what I'm doing right now, you're not gonna see for seven or eight seconds. <laughs> so that's why I'm kind of pausing um, because there's always a delay and I just wanna look and see where I'm at. So, okay. <clears throat> so this is my this is the details for my stamp stack. Um, you're gonna get the Christmas means more stamp set, and you're gonna get a package of Tis the Season six by six designer series paper. You're gonna get the half pack of the wonderful gems. There's um, two different sizes and two different colors, uh, red and gold, and then you're gonna get five yards of this real red braided trim. So, um, and like I said, there's gonna be plenty of leftovers for you to do even more cards. So, um, let me know if you're interested in that. And I have, I'm gonna use Love of Leaves again today, and I'm using the Thank You stamp set, and then I'm using this big leaf right here. And um, I'm going to start with my base. This is crumb cake. And I'm just getting my tools out here. There it is. I knew I had my bone folder somewhere. So what I've got here is, like I said, a crumb cake base. And I have a piece of crumb cake that I cut to three by four, and I've already embossed it. I ran it through my embossing machine with the Subtle Dynamic Textured Impressions Embossing Folder. And it gives this really cool, really kind of subtle um, design. And so, I'm just going to glue that down. I want this like in the corner of my card. And I'm just checking the comments here. So, oh, Chris, um, Janet says thank you because she found out that she was a winner. So, Janet, you are very welcome. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, appreciate the shares and the comments because... That helps me out, that helps me grow, which is very nice to get out to more people. So what I did next is I took a piece of the Gilded Autumn Designer Series paper and I cut it into a circle um, with my circle dies. And this side has the acorns and the leaves on it and it's gold and copper embossed. And this side just has this really cool kind of herringbone um, design. And I'm going to glue that down here on top of my 7x7 
subtle layer. And this is going to be an accent for my focal point, which I can't wait to show you guys. <laughs> it's really cool. I love this card. I'm going to make a bunch of them. So I'm going to glue that down. And then what I was so excited to show you is I've got my layering ovals dies and I don't know if you guys knew this but I used my small oval to make a pumpkin something I've been doing for a really long time I've got home decor pieces that I've done with this and I cut three ovals out of um, pumpkin pie cardstock and I'm gonna make a pumpkin you're probably thinking what well let me show you first of all um, as you know Stampin Up is very good with coordinating products so I've got my Stampin' Up um, Pumpkin Pie ink pad. I'm actually going to leave that open. And I've got my sponge here because I want a sponge. I just want some definition on my pumpkin. I'm going to have orange fingers by the end of the night. But that's okay because it washes off. <laughs> no need to worry. It washes right off. I'll go do a sink full of dishes and it's gone. Um, I actually this morning was working on Christmas cards and I had red ink all over my nails and my fingers. And then at lunchtime I did some dishes and it was gone. <laughs> so no worries. So you can see I'm just inking. I'm sponging ink around the edge of these ovals just to give it some definition. You know, you could do a lot more if you wanted. You could just sponge it right on there like that. No big deal. And then I'm going to put glue on the back. And... Oops. I'm just going to glue those together like that. And that is my pumpkin. Let's see. So there, I took a oval die and I made a pumpkin. And um, what I want to do now is I've got, oh geez, where'd it go? Here it is. So I've got this scrap. This is early espresso, and it's just a little scrap that was laying on my table because I was cleaning up. And I'm just going to trim it down a little bit and make it look like a stem. And I'm going to glue that right to the back. Like that. And now I've got a stem on my pumpkin. And then I've got this punch, it's called the Sprig Punch. And I punched out, I had a little scrap of old olive and I punched out <laughs> just half of a sprig. And I can glue this to the back for a little leaf. Like, I probably want it to go this way. So I could glue it like that, and now I've got a leaf. So there's my pumpkin. What do you guys think of my pumpkin? Here is one that I made. I used the circle dies instead of the oval dies. So there's another pumpkin I made. But, so hey, just kind of Think outside the box and, you know, make your crafting supplies go a lot further than you think they will. Um, I'm sure there's like tons more things that you can do with circles and ovals, but 
This is what I love doing this time of year is making these absolutely adorable pumpkins. So yeah, Michelle says super cool. Chriselle says, oh, look at that. So cute. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to use this pumpkin on the front of my card. And uh, so I'm going to get some dimensionals. Let me see. Yeah, I knew I had just opened a new pack. <laughs> I'm going to stick that on. One on the top, one on the bottom. And I'm going to put my pumpkin right in the middle of that beautiful brown paper. Okay, so then I want to stamp thank you. Remember I said I was going to use the thank you stamp. And I'm stamping an early espresso because I want it to be brown. And I've got this scrap here, a very vanilla. And I'm just going to stamp. Let's see, I want this to be straight. Thank you. Gosh, it's already getting dark, you guys. This is really bringing me down. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just happened to glance out the window and I'm like, oh my God, the sun is gone. I hate it. <laughs> okay, that's enough bad news. So... I'm going to trim this just a little bit. I don't want it real small, but it's a little big right now. So that should do. And I'm going to put that right over my pumpkin. So let's see. I'm going to put a dimensional on one side. And then a little bit of glue on the other side. And then I'm going to put that right there like that. Okay. And so next, I've got a piece of very vanilla for the inside. And I'm just going to stamp this beautiful leaf and some pumpkin pie, just like that. And I'm going to glue that on the inside. Sometimes I forget to do the inside of my cards because... Um, like sometimes I just don't know what I'm going to use it for or who I'm going to send it to. And I go, I'll just worry about it later. So I've been trying more often to at least do something on the inside and then I can make it more situation specific later. So this is always something I can stamp in or, you know, it says thank you on the front. I can always write something in there when I decide where and when I'm going to give it to someone or whatever. Um, but I'm trying to remember to decorate the inside of my cards as well. And, and that goes for the envelopes too. Like sometimes I'm not thinking about it, but sometimes I go, gosh, I should stamp on the envelope and make it coordinate. So yeah, just something to think about. It never hurts to decorate the flap or any of that. So here what I've got is two pieces. This is two pieces of twine that I cut. This is actually our linen thread. And I cut them, um, I think these are about 18 inches each. And I'm going to tie them together. Like I want them both to go around the front of my card. So I'm actually going to... I'm going 
to tie them together in a bow. That's going to look really cute. Oh, let's try that again. Okay, you want to make sure you've got both pieces when you tie that bow. There we go. I kind of like it. It's a very natural look when you use this linen thread. It's natural, it's texture, it reminds me of fall. Um, I love this stuff and it's just gives a really pretty look to this card. So I thought that would be perfect. You can make adjustments or, you know, I think I'm gonna trim the edge just a little bit. Maybe make the loops a bit smaller, like that. There we go. All right, you guys, what do you think of my card? Let's see, I'm just gonna take a peek at the comments, see if I missed anything. Hmm. <laughs> Chriselle says, I'm always better doing the outside than the inside of the cards. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> Again, I'm always kind of forgetting. So lately I've been trying to be more conscious of making sure to put something on the inside. <laughs> so. so that is all I have for you guys tonight. I don't have anything else to show you. Um, I know sometimes I do more cards to show you afterward but I've been really working on um I got some Christmas stuff that came the other day and so I've been using my new Christmas stuff and getting things ready to show you guys um next month so I've been kind of busy with it was so funny I wasn't really ready for Christmas like I kept saying no it's I'm not ready yet I'm not ready yet and just to put that in perspective, in the past, I start my Christmas stuff in August because that's when our holiday catalog starts, you know, even before that because we actually do our pre-order in July. So usually by August, I'm full steam ahead on Christmas stuff. And this year, I just haven't been ready. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, so now I don't know what changed it other than... Um, one of the singers I like released her Christmas album, and that kind of started it for me. I played it one day, and I was, like, just pumping out Christmas cards. It was pretty incredible. And ever since then, I've been like, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. <laughs> and I was coaching with a client the other day. And I was looking at my calendar and I realized Christmas is like eight weeks away. Like, hello. Um, so that just kind of put it in perspective for me. So, okay, you guys, I don't have anything else to show you unless anybody else has anything here. Um, I think I'm gonna let you go so I can go have dinner. Um, what's, what are you guys eating tonight? We had, um, I didn't cook because we had leftovers from last night. And so, um, really, Tim is going to eat the leftover pasta, and I'm probably going to finish the salad. Um, I've not been feeling well today. I've had a little bit of a stomach thing, and hopefully it's nothing serious. You know, if you guys know what I mean. Um, it's just really, like, heartburn and upset stomach, so... I don't feel like eating a whole lot, but I am kind of hungry. So, Chriselle had leftovers too. Yeah. You know, you got to eat them, otherwise they get thrown away. And I'd rather eat them right away rather than when it's questionable if they're even safe to eat, right? Because, like, sometimes we find stuff in our fridge and we're like, I can't even remember when we made that. <laughs> what day was that? 
And then it's like, well, better to just throw it away. <laughs> so, yes, and it is, it, the holidays are creeping up fast, you guys. And this year is so weird. Like, what is going to happen? We just don't know. It's so weird. And I, I don't know how else to describe it. It's just weird. So, um, yeah, I guess that's all I got. And, um, like I said, um, I am um, going to go have some dinner and you guys, I hope you enjoyed the card tonight. Um, if you want to share this video, that really helps. Again, leave a comment and um, gosh, I just lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Leave a comment. Oh, leave a comment, like, share. That'll get you entered into the drawing. Um, you could win this card next week. And I'm going to try to do much better on my... Um, I think the cutoff will be like the night before so that I can get winners picked from now on because before I was trying to do it right before my next video and there just wasn't enough time. So I'm going to try to make the cutoff a day earlier so that I can make sure I get those winners drawn. So then I'm not feeling like I'm failing. <laughs> so, okay, you guys have a great night. Thank you for joining me. And I will see you guys next week. Take care, everyone, and be safe and stay healthy. Okay, bye.